Okay. Yes, sir. We are dealing with the matrices. So, subtopic Silvis's theorem. So, we are seeing the example on that Silvis's theorem. So, using Silvis's theorem, prove that the sine square a plus cos square a equals to i. Now, this a is stand for the matrix. So that's why it should be equal to the i here, identity matrix. This we have to prove by using Silvis's theorem. And a is given to you. It is 2, 4, 3, 1. A may be different for the different example, but this identity will be true for all A. Okay? Now, given matrix A is given of the order 2 by 2, having the entry 2, 4, 3, 1. Now, first job is to find out the matrix lambda i minus A. While solving the example of Silvestres, you have to always hai lambda i minus A. So, lambda is a scalar. I stands for the identity matrix, which is having the same order as that of the A. And then minus we are having this a 2, 4, 3, 1. Okay. Now a lambda is a scalar quantity, so we multiply this lambda to these four elements. So that would be lambda 0, 0 lambda. Take a subtraction of this two matrix. Then we are having lambda minus 2, 0 minus 4, 0 minus 3, and lambda minus 1. So we got this matrix, but it is lambda i minus a. But according to the our statement of the synthesis, we have to find out adjoint of lambda i minus a. Now it is easy to get the adjoint of lambda i minus a uh, for the 2 by 2 matrix. I just interchange these two diagonal elements. So that is lambda minus 1, lambda minus 2. And I change the sign of this non-diagonal element. So it will be 4 and 3. This will give you the adjoint of lambda i minus a for the 2 by 2 matrix. Okay? 3 by 3 will have to fill 4 factor matrix. Then you have to use the adjoint. But now here we are dealing with the 2 by 2 matrix. So directly we have to use the adjoint. Next job is to calculate characteristic equation. So, it is having the shortcut formula I have told you. Lambda square minus S1 lambda plus determinant of A equals to 0. S1 stands for sum of diagonal 2 plus 1. Okay? And the determinant of A we can calculate very easily just by the cross multiplication. 2 minus it is 12. And that will be minus 10 here. This is the quadratic equation. We solve it. We find out the factor first of all. It is lambda minus 5 lambda plus 2. Multiplication is minus 10, addition is minus 3. So this is correct. Okay? And then we find out the roots. This will be lambda equals to 5 and lambda equals to minus 2 are the two roots for this equation. And these are nothing but the eigenvalues for this matrix. Okay? Now further, we will just define the phi of lambda which is lambda square minus s1 lambda plus determinant of a. Again, or we can have this as a determinant of lambda i minus a, you get the same thing. Okay? Then it will be a, this we have already calculated, put it here, and we require the derivative of this phi of lambda. So it will be phi dash of lambda. Take a derivative, this is 2 lambda minus 3. Then we define z of lambda according to the our synthesis theorem. And that is nothing but the ratio of the two quantity. It is adjoint of lambda i minus a upon that phi dash of lambda. So adjoint of lambda i minus a we have here already uh, defined and calculated. Then phi dash of lambda, this is the of lambda. We put it here, we get the z of lambda. Okay? The half part is over here and later on we define the p of a. So p of a is nothing but we define always the LHS part, whatever we have to prove. Okay? If we have to take a inverse, then p of a will be the a inverse. If we have to prove this, we have LHS part as a p of a. It is sin square a plus cos square a. Okay? So we have defined the p of a sin square a plus cos square a. Now, after definition of p of a, I use the Sylvester's theorem and according to that P of A will be written as P of lambda 1, Z of lambda 1 plus P of lambda 2, Z of lambda 2 and lambda 1, lambda 2 we obtain from here phi 1 minus 2 phi we can take as a lambda 1, minus 2 as a lambda 2 you can take any of them as a lambda 1, lambda 2 that will not change the answer so we have taken phi as a lambda 1 and the minus 2 as a lambda 2 then we have to obtain here P of phi we have defined a p of a as sin square a plus cos square a. So therefore, p of phi will be obtained by replacing the a by phi. So it will be sin square phi plus cos square phi. So this we have written here. Then z of phi. Z of phi is obtained from here the z of lambda. Okay? Here lambda ke jake phi put up karna hai. This is phi here. Phi minus 1, phi minus 2, 2 into phi minus 3. So we get this quantity. The first part, phi minus 1, 4, 3, phi minus 2 in this quantity. Similarly, we find out p of minus 2. P of minus 2 again from here, A is replaced by minus 2. This is sin square minus 2 plus cos square minus 2. 
okay then we have to find out z of minus 2 again lambda will be replaced by minus 2 here so we get this quantity now our simple job is that just to simplify this quantity simplify karenge so we know that sin square pi plus cos square pi pi is a real number so it will be 1 similarly sin square minus 2 and plus cos square minus 2 is also it is 1 simplify this pi minus 1 it is 4 pi minus 1 it is 4 this is 4 3 pi minus 2 it is 3 then this is 10 minus 3 it is 7 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 this is 4 3 minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 then this is minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7 simply we get it 7 is a common we can take outside and then we just have to subtract this 2 it is a minus sign we take here we just subtract this 2 matrices and after that subtraction we get 4 minus 1 minus 3 is plus 7 0 0 7 divide by the 7 I get 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 and then this is nothing but our i i rational matrix so p of a we have defined as what sin square a plus cos square a so we have to here and which we have proved as equals to i so this is standard identity we have proved by using the simplest scale similarly we can find out or prove the other identity as well as uh, by using the